Incredibly, the James Webb Telescope is a breathtaking creation. NASA has indeed constructed the most exceptional observatory in the universe. This achievement is attributed to the James Webb Space Telescope, capturing some of the most remarkable and captivating images of our galaxy thus far. Continue watching the video to explore more awe-inspiring visuals of our galaxy. Number 1. Relativity Rings The slender galaxy gracefully arching around its spherical counterpart in this image exemplifies an incredibly peculiar and extremely rare occurrence. This image features Galclus 022058S, situated in the southern hemisphere constellation of Fornax, the Furnace. It is the largest and among the most complete Einstein rings ever found in our universe. The principal investigator and their team who are examining this Einstein ring have affectionately dubbed it the Molten Ring, a nod to both its appearance and its host constellation. Such objects serve as the perfect laboratories for investigating galaxies too faint and remote to be observed otherwise. Number 2. The Lagoon Nebula Behold the vibrant and mesmerizing image of the Lagoon Nebula. Located approximately 4,000 light-years away, this vast nebula spans an impressive 55 light-years in width and 20 light-years in height. The image captures merely a fraction of this tumultuous star-forming region, which encompasses an area of about 4 light-years across. The remarkable Lagoon Nebula was first documented in 1654 by Italian astronomer Giovanni Battista Hodierna. His goal was to catalog nebulous objects in the night sky to prevent confusion with comets. Since Hodierna's initial observations, the Lagoon Nebula has been photographed and examined by numerous telescopes and astronomers worldwide. Number 3. Abel 2218 The image displays Abel 2218, a dense galaxy cluster consisting of thousands of distinct galaxies. Positioned approximately 2.1 billion light-years from Earth, it resides in the northern constellation of Draco. Astronomers utilize this cluster as an effective gravitational lens to magnify remote galaxies, enabling them to observe deep into the universe. However, this process not only amplifies the images of concealed galaxies, but also warps them into elongated, slender arcs. Number 4. Dwarf Galaxy WLM. The WLM Dwarf Galaxy is a nearby yet isolated and remote celestial object, situated 3 million light-years from the Milky Way. WLM serves as an excellent research ground for understanding galaxy formation and evolution since it may have remained untouched by interactions with other systems. The presence of the Milky Way complicates many nearby galaxies making WLM a unique case. Intriguingly, WLM's gas composition resembles that of early universe galaxies with a chemically depleted nature and fewer heavy elements. Galactic winds have caused the disappearance of many of these components. Over cosmic time, WLM has formed stars, which in turn have synthesized new elements. However, when massive stars explode, some of this material is expelled from the galaxy, a phenomenon also observed in galaxies like WLM that are affected by supernovae. WLM is captivating because it offers insights into the formation and evolution of stars in very small galaxies akin to those found in the early universe. Number 5. NGC 3603 NGC 3603 is a starburst region and a cosmic factory characterized by its exceptionally active star formation. As the nearest region of its kind in our galaxy, located approximately 22,000 light-years from the Sun, it provides scientists with a local testbed to study the intense star formation processes commonly observed in other galaxies, which are challenging to analyze in detail due to their vast distances. Situated in the Carina Sagittarius arm of the Milky Way and around 20,000 light-years from Earth, NGC 3603 houses a nebula. Within this nebula, HD 97950 can be found, an extremely dense open cluster, possibly a superstar cluster, nestled in a large H2 region. Number 6. An eye in the sky, radiant cloud of gas and dust surrounding a planet. This striking image, captured by the NASA ESA James Webb Space Telescope, displays the vibrant gas cloud NGC 3918 in the constellation Centaurus situated approximately 4,900 light-years from Earth. 
The eye-like structure of NGC 3918 consists of a luminous inner shell of gas and a more dispersed outer shell extending from the nebula, which may have been shaped by two distinct gas ejections. However, observations of the object indicate that both shells were formed simultaneously but are moving away from the star at different velocities. It appears that the colossal jets of gas erupting from the massive structure's edges are traveling at speeds of up to 350,000 kilometers per hour as they leave the star. Number 7. NGC 346 This image of NGC 346, captured by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope's near-infrared camera, NARCAM, showcases a young star cluster nestled within a nebula situated 200,000 light-years away. Webb uncovers a more abundant supply of building blocks than previously believed, including dust and hydrogen-rich clouds, which contribute to the formation of stars and planets. The gaseous plumes and arcs seen in this image contain both molecular and atomic hydrogen. The pink gas signifies energetic hydrogen, reaching temperatures up to 18,000 degrees Fahrenheit, while the orange gas represents dense molecular hydrogen, much colder at temperatures of minus 200 degrees Fahrenheit or below, accompanied by the typical dust found alongside it. As stars emerge from the cooler gas, they transform their surrounding environment. The numerous ridges visible throughout the image demonstrate the effect of light from these young stars breaking up the dense clouds. The glowing gas pillars exemplify the extensive impacts of this stellar erosion. Number 8. Magnetic Monster NGC 1275 This captivating image of NGC 1275, captured by the observatory, showcases the remarkable clarity and resolution of the reddish, lace-like filamentary structures surrounding the bright core region of NGC 1275. Although enveloped by gas that reaches temperatures of nearly 55 million degrees Celsius, these filaments remain cool. They demonstrate how energy from the central black hole is transferred to the surrounding gas while being held in place by a magnetic field. For the first time, astronomers estimated the strength of the magnetic field by observing the filamentary structure. Utilizing this information, scientists revealed that the extragalactic magnetic fields have preserved the filament structure over their 100 million year lifetime, shielding them from collapsing due to gravitational forces or the turbulence of the surrounding cluster. Number 9. Neptune's Rings This remarkable image of Neptune's rings, captured by Webb's near-infrared camera, NearCam, reveals the planet's tumultuous stormy atmosphere. The rings haven't been observed in over 30 years. The ice giant Neptune has a higher methane content than the gas giants Jupiter and Saturn, and Webb's photograph indicates that near-infrared methane is not blue. Methane significantly absorbs red and infrared light, causing the planet to appear dark at near-infrared wavelengths, except for high-altitude clouds. The image displays brilliant streaks and patches from methane ice clouds reflecting sunlight before being absorbed by methane gas. To the upper left of the planet, Triton, one of Neptune's moons, features eight diffraction spikes, an artifact of the telescope's structure. Webb captured six more of Neptune's 14 moons, a nearby star and several faint galaxies. Number 10. Tarantula Nebula, using Webb's near-infrared camera, NearCam. This 340-light-year mosaic image sheds light on the Tarantula Nebula's star-forming region, unveiling tens of thousands of previously hidden newborn stars. Pale blue massive young stars dominate the most active zone, while red stars remain embedded in the nebula's dust. Thanks to its exceptional near-infrared resolution, NERCAM can detect these dust-shrouded stars. An older star near the cluster of young stars and the nebula's cavity displays NERCAM's eight diffraction spikes. The top central spike of this star almost points to a cloud bubble, which is being blown by young stars surrounded by dust to create their own cavity. Astronomers have examined this location, using two of Webb's spectrographs to identify the chemical composition of the star and gas. From its spectral data, they can determine the nebula's age and the number of generations of star births. As cooler gas turns rusty further from hot newborn stars, the nebula becomes rich in complex hydrocarbons. This dense gas will give birth to stars. Gas and dust from giant stars' winds will accumulate and, under gravity, coalesce to form new stars. Number 11. 
multi-wavelength view of NGC 1300. This image of the spiral galaxy. NGC 1300 combines multiple observations to showcase star populations and gas. Yellow highlights resulting from radio light collected by the Atacama Large Millimeter or Submillimeter Array ALMA, emphasize the frigid molecular gas clouds that serve as the starting point for star formation. Data from the multi-unit spectroscopic explorer MUSE instrument on the Very Large Telescope, displayed in red and magenta, reveal how young, massive stars impact the surrounding gas. The James Webb Space Telescope captures dust lanes in gold and extremely young, luminous stars in blue, using images taken in the visible and ultraviolet spectrum. By employing high-resolution infrared images from the Webb Space Telescope, researchers will be able to pinpoint the earliest stages of star formation within this galaxy. Number 12. New Life in Old Cluster This image from the James Webb Space Telescope displays the Milky Way's oldest globular cluster, Messier 5. Although the majority of its stars were formed over 12 billion years ago, some unexpected newcomers breathe new life into this ancient population. Stars within globular clusters evolve together. The most massive stars exhaust their fuel in less than a million years and end in supernova explosions. Consequently, the ancient cluster Messier 5 should contain only old, low-mass stars, which have aged and cooled into red giants and blue horizontal branch stars. However, astronomers have discovered numerous young blue stars within this cluster, intermingled with the older, brighter stars. They believe that these blue stragglers were created through stellar collisions or mass transfers between binary stars. In densely populated globular clusters containing a few million stars, such events are plausible. Number 13, NGC 346. Astonishingly, young stars have been discovered spiraling into the center of a massive star cluster in the small Magellanic Cloud, a satellite galaxy of the Milky Way. This perplexing finding involves the enormous stellar nursery known as NGC 346, which possesses a unique structure and may be promoting new star formation through a river-like migration of gas and stars. The spiral arm near the galaxy's edge could be driving this activity. According to the research findings, this is an efficient mechanism for fostering star development. Number 14. A cosmic tadpole, Leta 36252, also called Kiso 5649, is a small galaxy captured in this new image from the NASA ESA James Webb Space Telescope. Owing to its luminous head and elongated tail, this galaxy is classified as part of a group of objects known as tadpoles. Located approximately 80 million light years away, this galaxy is relatively close to us. While tadpole galaxies are rare in our local neighborhood of the universe, they are quite common in the broader cosmos, suggesting that many galaxies undergo this phase during their evolution. Number 15. Galactic Center Infrared light from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope reveals hot gas swirling around the vicinity of the Milky Way galaxy's supermassive black hole. This 2009 image was the sharpest infrared view of the galactic center ever captured, released to celebrate the International Year of Astronomy. The James Webb Space Telescope, developed by NASA, will continue this research with enhanced infrared detection capabilities and resolution comparable to Hubble's. Of particular interest to astronomers will be Webb's observations of flares in the region, which have not been detected around any other supermassive black hole. Webb's infrared data is anticipated to greatly assist in obtaining a clear image, which has been hindered by flares in the Event Horizon Telescope's EHT collaboration effort to capture the area immediately surrounding the black hole. Number 16. Fomalhaut and Fomalhaut B. Fomalhaut B, the newly discovered planet, is shown orbiting its parent star in this image from the advanced camera on board the James Webb Space Telescope. The small white box at the lower right pinpoints the planet's location. A 34.5 billion kilometer wide ring of dusty debris surrounds Fomalhaut, and its companion, Fomalhaut B, has etched a path around the inner border of this ring. Fomalhaut B is situated 17 billion kilometers from its star, and is located 3 billion kilometers inside the inner edge of the ring. Astronomers have calculated that Fomalhaut B completes an orbit around its parent star every 872 years. 
The location of the star is shown by the small white dot in the center of the picture. To observe the faint planet, astronomers use the coronagraph on the advanced camera to darken the area around Fomalhaut. Fomalho B shines 100 million times fainter than its parent star. Scattered starlight creates the radial streaks. A background star is indicated by the red dot at the bottom left. The Fomalhaut system is located in Pisces Austrinus, 25 light years from Earth. Number 17, Clouds on Titan. On Saturday, November 5th, a group of planetary scientists from around the world awoke to the exciting news that the first web photographs of Saturn's largest moon, Titan, had been released. Connor Nixon, the guaranteed time observations principal investigator, and the rest of the web team members who are studying Titan's environment and atmosphere shared their initial impressions of the findings. Titan has a rich atmosphere and is the only moon in the solar system with running liquid other than on Earth. In contrast to Earth, however, the liquid on Titan's surface is made of hydrocarbons like methane and ethane, rather than water. Heavy haze permeates the atmosphere, blocking out any sunlight that might otherwise reach the surface. Well, there you have it, folks. Titan's got its own cloudy weather, but we Earthlings are keeping our sunny dispositions as we explore the cosmos. If you've enjoyed this out-of-this-world adventure, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Every like and subscription helps keep our content flowing like Titan's methane rivers. Looking for more interstellar excitement? Don't worry, we've got you covered. Click on the video on your screen right now for another fantastic journey through the great beyond. Strap in and let's ride the cosmic waves together.